Have you ever wanted a social media platform for people with the insecurity of Reddit users combined with the narcissism of Reddit users? Well, Letterboxd is the service for you. And yes, I do use Letterboxd, so those are self-owns. Letterboxd is an app that lets people log, rate, and review the movies that they watch. And let me tell you, it has every single movie. What's the oldest movie you've seen? Maybe The Wizard of Oz, It's a Wonderful Life? Try 1878's Sally Gardner at a Gallop, you soy boy beta cuck. It even has treasured classics that we all know and love, like Athlete Swinging a Pick. Well, time to go leave my review. We'll give it... Mm, two and a half stars. You think I'm joking, but it has over 1,000 reviews. And somehow the most popular rating is three stars? I don't know how that happened. I feel like this is the type of thing you should go all or nothing on. Either it's five stars because it's one of the earliest things ever filmed, or it's half a star because it's two seconds long. But how do you arrive at three? Who says, yeah, it had a lot going for it, but it kind of fell off near the end. But more importantly, who is still watching movies from the 1870s? I wasn't even born yet. Mitch McConnell was still a baby. But in all seriousness, the reason that people are leaving reviews for two-second clips from the 1800s is because Letterboxd users are absolutely obsessed with logging as many movies as possible. There's this whole subculture of people who will literally speed up the movies they watch in order to cram as many of them as they can into one day. Here's a poll from the Letterboxd subreddit asking people if they've ever watched a movie at an adjusted speed. And almost 20% of them said yes. There's a guy in the comments who says, There's a guy I follow on Letterboxd that watches like 12 to 15 movies daily, and will sometimes talk about watching at one and a half or two times speed. Can you imagine watching Jason Bourne on double speed? How do you walk away from that thinking, this has been a fulfilling experience, I, uh, I enjoyed this film thoroughly. You're not The Flash. You're not some other fast guy. You're just a dude wasting his life watching movies you can't possibly be enjoying because it makes the number on your profile go up. Maybe I'm just a gatekeeper, but I genuinely cannot fathom how someone gains anything from this. Here's a guy who has logged 1,320 movies this year. And this screenshot is from January. How is that possible? Does this guy not have a job? Is this a new genre of rich kid? Just uses daddy's or mommy's money to consume cinema 24-7? There's another comment on this post that says, I once met someone on a Discord server who preferred to watch movies two or three at a time, and on two times speed because his brain could keep up. Can you imagine if the first time that you watched The Godfather, you saw it on two times speed, while Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed and Kindergarten Cop played over it, also both on two times speed? <laughs> this is madness. Oh my god, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> but those aren't the only types of users on Letterboxd. Just wait, there's more. You see, there are also certain people on the app who take film criticism way too seriously. There's a certain user, I won't say her name for privacy's sake, but she is incapable of watching a movie without finding some sort of hidden political agenda that she does not agree with. The idea of overpopulation, as I explained previously, is a myth used to justify genocide and exploitation. The lack of resources people live with isn't brought on because there are too many people, 
It's because a very a handful few of people and institutions are holding on to most of it so they can extract profit from us. The film is bought into this lie, and that alone makes them terrible. Because it perpetuates that is a inexcusable. Lie. A lie we don't see so how the economic die from it every people, year, nor what the recovery looked like. But it's not just lazy. It's an intentional ignoring the trauma, economic hardship, and post-apocalyptic chaos that would have followed sexist, racist, and capitalist propaganda masquerading as enlightened. And that's half a star for the Avengers. And I agree with this person's politics, but this is a review for the Avengers. I hate to be that guy, but it's not that deep. Oh, go! Bruce. Damn. The antagonist is a big purple space alien who uses magic rocks to make himself god. The biggest political statement this movie is making is, girls get it done. Girls get it done. But in addition to users who take their reviews way too seriously, there are also certain users who treat their reviews like they're Twitter comedians. And sometimes it's cringy, but other times it's kind of funny. Like, for the movie Joker, you'll see tons of people writing out paragraph after paragraph, giving an in-depth analysis of the themes and artistry behind the film. But then the most popular review is, This happened to my buddy Eric. Four stars. Or take Final Destination. At this point, a classic horror movie. I'm sure people have something interesting to say about that. Final Destination is my favorite movie because the boys go poop together. I love positive depictions of male friendship. Yes, we stand boys who are regular. This film has some of my favorite farts in all of cinema. Each fart here is wonderful and comically timed, on top of being rich and boisterous sounding. They were definitely eaten good before this one. LOL. Four and a half stars. I think these users do a pretty good job balancing out the ones who take themselves too seriously, and it's kind of entertaining to see the other people get upset at them. So for that reason, they're my favorite. Three and a half stars. You can really tell what kind of people use Letterboxd based on what the most popular movies on the platform are. Whether that be sad loner people wrongfully idolize, sad loner people wrongfully idolize, or sad loner people wrongfully idolize. But in order for me to judge you, I want to know what your favorite movie is. So leave a comment telling me what that is, and bonus points if you can tell me why. If you liked the video, please like the video. And if you really liked the video, consider subscribing. Thank you for watching, and until next time...